We need your help. I need your help. We need money for research. It may not save my life. It may save my children's lives. It may save someone you love. 18 years ago, the V Foundation for Cancer Research started with a dream sparked by ESPN and Jim Valvano. I worked with Jim's oncologist as he courageously battled cancer. Jim inspired us all with his vision of a world without cancer and his desire to do something to get us there. Jim passed away only a few short weeks after announcing the formation of the V Foundation, but his vision lives on. The V Foundation funds three types of cancer research grant categories, addressing the need to help early career cancer investigators develop into promising future research talents was the first goal of the V Foundation. The V Scholar concept was developed in 1994. Since then, the V Foundation has invested $25.5 million to 221 young investigators. 98% of them continue in the field of research. 100% have received additional funding to advance their careers. From a young investigator first funded by the V Foundation to CEO of a major cancer center, Gerald Bepler is just one example of the success of the V Scholar program. When you first start out, it's extremely hard to get federal funding. In the beginning, I got a grant from the V Foundation to do my work in lung cancer. And three years later, I got my first NCI grant and uh, have been able to continue to do my work in molecular abnormalities in lung cancer ever since that time. Dr. Bepler has received nearly $24 million in funding from the National Cancer Institute. As with any patient, Jim discovered firsthand how slowly science progresses from the lab to the patient's bedside. He wanted faster solutions, more progress, and better answers. The V Foundation announced its translational research grants to accelerate laboratory findings with a goal of benefiting patients more quickly. Dr. Martin Kast has garnered an impressive list of accomplishments since receiving his 2003 translational grant he was named 2010 Eminent Scientist of the Year by the International Research Promotion Council and has received an additional $2.6 million in funding. The Fee Foundation was the first one actually that sponsored my research when I came eight years ago to USC. And I was able to use that money to identify the receptor for human papillomavirus. And therefore we are now zooming in to uh, treat uh, patients that are on their way developing uh, cervical cancer or other types of cancers. The V Foundation's designated grant program funds projects in communities or regions local to the fundraising area. Fundraisers and donors work with the Foundation to identify a specific project, facility or awareness program. The V Foundation has awarded $26 million in designated grants. Dr. Anthony Ribas has used his designated grant to hire three postdoctoral researchers for his work with metastatic melanoma. The B Foundation has allowed to recruit and maintain excellent uh, trainees that have generated new data, adding to the excitement in the field of new treatments for metastatic melanoma. The B Foundation actually is the main source of uh, funding for my fellowship and uh, thanks to the V Foundation, we could uh, accomplish uh, many goals towards uh, developing new therapeutics for melanoma. The first V Foundation Nickel Scholar that we had, uh, Richard Koya, was key in getting the preliminary data for a large multi-project, multi-million dollar program grant The V Foundation is helping to accelerate the rate at which new therapies are reaching patients. 
Patients are benefiting from our efforts through early detection, innovative treatments, and more rapid results. Don't give up. Don't ever give up. Jim's words continue to inspire us every day. Please help us to make Jim's vision of defeating cancer a reality.